Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code for Systems. Here we have developed automated systems to help you win big in any sport that you choose and not only win big but win big consistently. So in this video today we're going to run over some uh, NBA games for Friday April the 5th. There aren't too many games on tap but there are a few interesting ones that we can take a look at here. So first we're going to look at the, we're at the uh, VIP club section here where you can get everything you need to know about all the games so i'm going to look down here at some of the games here here's the first game i want to look at the san antonio spurs at the washington wizards well you see the status of the two teams here the spurs are ice cold down you go over here to the wizards you see they are ice cold up for the season uh the spurs are 44 and 33 but they're only 14 and 24 on the road washington is only 32 and 42 for the season out of the playoff picture but they have a good 22 and 16 at home. That's one thing to take an eye on here in this one. So if you look here at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you see that uh, the Spurs won the first meeting between the teams at home by a pretty uh, convincing fashion by 13 points. If you look here at the power ranking indicators, see how the teams are trending at the moment. Uh, San Antonio was going down, but now they're going slightly back up, and they're at plus 19. And Washington has been steady over the past few days, and they are at plus 5. We go down through here a little bit further, and we look at the oscillator. You can see what's happening here. They're even as far as, as, far as numerical value goes points, but you can see that Washington has gone up, and San Antonio has been going a little bit down. And if you look here at the totals predictor, as far as the over and under, if you're concerned about betting on the over and under, you can see that San Antonio's games have been trending under, the blue line in indicating right here, and then the red line where they are asked that their games are trending under, and Washington has been trending a little bit over. So if you're going to bet the over and under, it's probably best to avoid that since the two teams are, in, are different end of the spectrum there as far as the over and the under is concerned. If you look at the actual um, power rankings, as I showed you just before, we don't have to go over that again. So if you want to go for the actual which team will win the ball game, I think the best bet in this one is actually to go with Washington at home. Maybe a little bit of an upset, but they are a better home team. And San Antonio really struggles on the road. They have already have a playoff spot wrapped up. They really don't have anything to play for. Go with Washington on this one. Go down here through here. This is the, the best game of the day. I'm thinking the Boston Celtics and the Indiana Pacers. They are tied at 46 and 32, fighting for that fourth seed in the East. Whichever team wins that seed will have the home court advantage over the, the other team in the first round of the playoffs. So far this year, if you look at the head to head matchups, Boston has won two of the three meetings between the teams, and both teams have won their respective game at home. So if you look here at the power rankings indicator, which I always like to do, you can see both teams are going on the downward trend. Boston is at plus 16. Indiana is at plus 12 at the moment. And if you look at their statuses here, average for Boston, ice cold up for Indiana. Neither team has been playing particularly great lately. You see Boston here has won three out of their last six. Indiana has only won two out of their last six. If you look at the totals predictor, let's take a look at what they're doing if you're considering the over and under in this one. Boston's games have been trending over by four points. Uh, Indiana has been trending slightly under. So I think you could go with an over in this one because Indiana is trending close to the line. Boston's games are trending over. I'd say you could go with the over on this one. Let's take a look here at the stability, I haven't looked at this one yet. This is the uh, volatility oscillator. So we look at the volatility oscillator, you will see that both teams are showing good stability. Indiana really stable at plus 38, which means that they're performing very well according to their favorite underdog status. So if we put it all together here, Indiana is a very, very good home team. Boston's good on the road, but if you look at the trend between the two teams this season, the home team has won every game. I think that trend continues. I think Indiana wins. I think they wrap up the fourth seed, and they will be the home team against Boston in that first-round playoff matchup. Take a look at a couple more games here. 
We have, uh, let's go down through here to a few other ones. A couple of specific ones I want to look at, which I haven't found yet. Well, now here we go, the Lakers and the Clippers. The Los Angeles teams, although they are both burning hot at the moment, because you know, Los Angeles has won, uh, the Lakers have won their last couple. The Clippers are at 40. What is their record? They are 47 and 32 on the season, and they are in a great position. They're already made the playoffs. Um, Los Angeles the Lakers have been eliminated from the playoff competition. They really don't have a whole lot to play for, but let's look at what's going on between them throughout the course of the season. If you look at head to head, the Clippers have won three of the four meetings, and each team has won on the road. So it's very interesting. The home team has not won a game yet this season between the two teams. If you look at the power rankings indicator see that the Clippers are at plus 21, the Lakers are at plus 9. Take a look at a few other things here to make our predictions. Uh, let's look at the total predictor. If you're looking at the over and under in this one, the Lakers have been trending under by a couple points. And the Clippers games have been trending over by a few points. So you could maybe go with with an over here because the Clippers are going a little bit more over than the Lakers are under, but I'd say it's probably best to avoid the over under in this one. The best bet for this game, I would think, would just be to go with the Clippers. They have a whole lot more to play for. Um, get momentum heading into the postseason. The Lakers are done. They're out of the comp playoff competition. LeBron James won't be playing. Go with the Clippers. Okay, we have one final matchup here that I want to look at. It's another good one. Probably the second best one of the day, Portland and Denver. The fight of the number two and the number three seeds in the Western Conference. Denver is second in the conference with a very good 51 and 25 mark. Portland is 49 and 28. Denver is extremely good at home. If you look at what they have done head to head this season, Denver has won both meetings, one on the road, one at home, but both very close games. Look, by uh, combined four points so that trend is probably going to continue it's probably going to be another tight game if you look at the power rankings indicator they're very close as well plus 23 for denver plus 22 for portland go to the totals predictor if you want to look at the over and under uh, if you look here they're just slightly under as far as portland goes and the denver's games have been well under so the best bet is to go for the under on this one Two solid defensive teams go for the under in this matchup. Let's see about the volatility oscillator. and Let's see how they're doing there. Both teams, again, extremely stable. You can see how this is a very tight matchup here. Both teams are performing very well according to their favorite underdog status. So if you take a look at this, because of that, you would think that Denver would win the game. They, they probably will. But if you want to go for an upset pick, since every one of these games in this uh, series has been close, if you want to go for a slight upset pick, go with Portland for the upset to get an inch a little bit closer to Denver and possibly catch them with a few games left in the season. If you want to go with the safe bet, go with Denver. Okay, so if you're not interested in looking at all the numbers and all the stats like I just did, you can go to the top automated systems, which I'm showing you right here. And it's really a good tool here. All you have to do is go down through here, select your sport. Like here, you can select uh, NBA since that's what we're doing. The different top, different profit methods. You see right here, and then you could go by profit time. Like for instance, maybe you want to go just for 2019, so you put 2019 in, and then you can just choose one of these and see what the trend is. And there you go. You see about the net profit, and it's a really good tool. Just, just go down through it and pick which one you choose, and it'll help you uh, pick the games more easily for you without having to go through all the statistics like I just did on this other page on the VIP section. Okay, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the games on Friday, and remember, if you have not joined yet, please join up. You'll, you will have a lot of fun. You'll probably win. You'll probably win very big as well. So enjoy the games. We'll see you next week.